it though it seems My every single thought is caught up in collecting cream A made nigga, picture me dying in the blaze of gunfire So Kevin Lau tweeted this morning and said the Crawford pay-per-view did approximately 190,000 units. Now, that number is a little shocking uh, because I thought it was going to be in the 250,000 range. I mean, I'm not too surprised that it was a low pay-per-view as there was absolutely zero promotion for this fight. Another thing to keep in mind is it is 2021 and a lot of people are using websites to watch the fights, they're streaming services, they're also doing gatherings, they're going to bars, they're going to movie theaters. So I guess 190,000 isn't, isn't too, too bad. I just thought it was gonna be a little bit higher. I mean, this was a very highly anticipated fight by two of the top welterweights in the world. And even though there was not much promotion on it, I'm just very, very shocked that it did uh, such low numbers. Another reason that I believe there was absolutely no promotion for this fight was the fact that Bob Arum has been doing nothing but shitting on Terrence Crawford for the past five to six months. I mean, he's been talking negative about him. He's been saying that he can't sell a high school out. He's been saying a bunch of shit negatively towards uh, Terrence Crawford. So it was one of the greatest things when Terrence Crawford said that he was moving on from top rank and told him he could not secure me the Errol Spence fight when I was with him. So how can he do it now? And it was great because he did it right in front of him and you saw Bob Arum's stupid face and he literally had nothing to say because he knows that it's true. <clears throat> My decision is made already. Bob couldn't secure me the Spence fight when I was with him. So how are you going to secure me the Spence fight when I'm not with him? So. This should be really no surprise because Bob Arum has had superstars leave him before, one of them being Floyd Mayweather Jr. He went to become his own free agent and he became his own boss and it was probably the best decision he could have made for his career and I believe it's the same thing for Terrence Crawford. But anyways, back to the pay-per-view buys. So 190,000, I guess is on par with the last pay-per-view fight he had against Kell Brook. But the number reported was in the 200,000 range. Plus the last fight before that he had against Amir Khan, where they generated about 200,000 pay-per-view buys, but it was reported that it was likely under. So 190,000 is on par with the numbers that Terrence Crawford consistently does on pay-per-view. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about those pay-per-view numbers. Do you think they're okay? Do you think they're average? Do you think they're good for Terrence Crawford? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.